Well, I'm going to treat this as if it's a brand new class, all new people, and y'all don't know me. Uh, my name is Lisa, and this I'm is... Hi, how are you? So glad to see you guys. Um, this is a gentle stretching, balance, and movement class. We do the majority of it from a chair, but we will stand up a little bit. So, and I can't remember if we did any standing up with them too, so I'll let you kind of help guide them. Oh. It's, it's easy though. Um, so some of it is standing, but mostly sitting, and we're just gonna move our bodies and stretch our bodies, and this is stuff that y'all can do at home. Today, we don't have any props. Normally, I have a resistance band or balls that we use under our feet. We do take our shoes off, so those of you that just came in, um, I hope you have socks on. If you don't have socks on, I'll I okay, I don't want your feet to get cold. It's a little chilly out today. Um, but we do a lot of movement with our feet and our hands and um, maybe some of the areas of our body that y'all don't focus on very often. So I'll let you get your shoes off. And then we'll start the class just kind of relaxing and calming our minds a little bit. So sit all the way back in your chair lean back shoulders down and maybe your hands in your lap your hands can can be palms down or they can be palms up or you can let your hands hang by the side of your chair if you want to get some extra circulation in your fingers but we're going to sit in the quiet for just a minute and if it feels okay for you to close your eyes i would invite you to do that if closing your eyes isn't comfortable then don't do it and as we're sitting in the quiet I'm gonna stop talking in a second <laughs> um, think about imagining your breath as you breathe in and it comes down your throat spiraling around your spine into your belly and then when you breathe out it comes back up swirling around your spine as you exhale and now let's just do that in the quiet for a minute or so. And if you closed your eyes, I'll invite you to open them back up. And you can focus on me. And what we're gonna do is take some <clears throat> inhales and exhales together. But we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna breathe in really deep, bringing our hands up above our head. And then exhaling out, arms coming all the way back down. We're gonna do that a few more times. So breathing in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And if you have bad shoulders, just bring those hands up to your lap or up in front of your chest instead of over your head. Breathing up. Exhaling, breathing out. Let's do one more time. Breathing in and reaching up. Exhaling down and out. Now from here, we're gonna keep our seat where it is, but we're gonna let our heads drop and then just roll down so that your chest meets your lap. And if your chest doesn't meet your lap, that's quite all right too. We're just gonna hang over our lap, let our hands dangle down towards our feet. Just hang out here for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll just gently roll back up. Let's do that again. So exhaling, rolling all the way down. Let your hands dangle down by your feet. And then breathing in and rolling back up. 
And before we scoot to the edge of our seat, we've done our number four stretch in here quite a bit, but usually we, we are doing it a little further out in our chair. I wanna stay right here so we get a, maybe a little bit of a deeper stretch. So take your left leg, cross the other knee with that foot, like you might do if you're just sitting, hanging out. And now in this number four, lean your chest towards that knee and you feel that stretch in your bum and that the back of that hip and we're just going to hold this here so we're just leaning over at the hips getting a stretch in that outer hip make sure you don't hold your breath while you're here and maybe you push down on that bent knee a little bit just to give it an extra stretch. Some of us are more limber than others. And then just gently coming up. Now switch legs. So put that other foot across that knee. And then we'll just lean our chest towards that knee. And now you're getting a good stretch in that hip. Everybody feel it? Yes. Yep, me too. <laughs> this is where I'm usually the tightest is in my hips. And then just roll back up, put that foot back down. Now we're gonna work on our feet a little bit. So raise those feet up off the floor. We're tightening up those kneecaps and I want you to point your feet and then flex your feet. Point and point your toes as far as you can and then flex those toes back towards you. Point and then flex. We're moving those ankles. Point and flex. Now take your feet side to side like windshield wipers. Just turn in the bottoms of those feet left to right, back and forth. Back and forth. Now let's make circles with our feet. So you can go one direction with both feet or you can go two different directions with both feet. But now, whatever direction you're going, switch and go the opposite direction. Big circles with our feet. And then feet come back down. So let's rest here for a second. I'm gonna make you bring those legs back up, but you're working those quads while we're ho holding those feet up too. So let's bring those feet back up. <coughs> All right. This time, instead of windshield wipering like this, I want you to just go left to right, try to keep your feet flat. That's a lot harder to do. Our feet don't really move that way. So we're just trying to move toes left to right like we're making a rainbow with our feet. Back and forth, back and forth. Now I want you to point your left toe and bring your right toes back towards you. Then switch. So it's like we're doing two different pedals, right? Now left toe, and then right, and left, and right, one more time, left, and right, and then down. Anybody remember driver's ed when the passenger seat had two, two brakes? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about when I do this. Yeah, crazy. Okay, so feet are on the floor. Now I want you to do some calf raises. So your feet are right under your knees at about 90 degrees. So we're gonna lift those ankles up off the floor, keeping our toes on the floor, squeezing those calves, and then back down, up on those toes. And then back down, let's do that eight more times. So we'll say eight and seven and six and five 
and four, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna do what I call push-ups with our arches or with our feet. I'm gonna show you with my hand as the example. So your foot's flat on the floor and say this is the arch of your foot. You're gonna squeeze so that arch comes up, but your toes stay on the floor and then back down. Does that make sense? So we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna do that with both feet. So we're squeezing with our toes and with our foot and just lifting the arch, only lifting the arch. If you need to come to the edge of your chair a little bit so your feet touch the floor, <laughs> for those of you that don't have very long legs. I have the same one. Yeah, because you want your heel and your toes to be on the floor at the same time. And all we're doing is squeezing that arch and then coming back down. Let's do that eight more times. So squeezing that arch up, that's eight and seven, squeezing and six and five. I know I said this one time in this class. Who was the lady that had the lamb chop, the puppet? Remember lamb chop? Yeah. Four, yeah. let's do three more times, three, I always think of lamb chop when I do that with my arch. Cause remember she the, she did the puppet with her hand. So she was, oh, that was the mouth. <laughs> I'm aging myself, aren't I? She, when was she popular? I'll have to Google that when we finish. I can't remember her name either. Was she on the... Uh, was it Sherry or something like Sherry that? Sherry and lamb chop, maybe. maybe? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. And was she on the... It's, I don't think I know what she was on. Just had vaguely she was on all shoes. kinds of yeah. shows. Yeah, okay. All right, so now let's come up to the edge of our seat a little bit and put your ankles down, or heels, I'm sorry. It's all about my descriptive words. Heels down on the floor. And now we're gonna do that same windshield wiper, but we're gonna do it with our heels on the floor. So windshield wipering side to side. So we're really focusing on our feet a lot today. Side to side, let's do that eight more times both directions. So eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one and now take your left leg and let's just hug that knee in get a good stretch here and let's rotate that ankle and once you say five or six rotations this direction then switch make sure you do it the other direction as well and then down let's do the other side squeeze and then start rotating that foot working on that ankle mobility and then back down i'm going to have us all stand up and come to the back of your chair So first thing, I wanna give us a good side body and back stretch. So step far, far enough, far enough back, step far enough back from your chair that you can have full extension of your arms and you can let your head drop between your shoulders. Just let gravity, let your head fall between those shoulders and you're feeling a good stretch under those armpits and up the back and don't forget to breathe here we're going to hang out here for a few seconds just get a really good upper body stretch maybe you feel that up the backs of your arms too And then as you think about coming up out of it, just bend your knees and then roll up gently, nice and slow. Don't want anybody to get lightheaded in here. All right, 
So stay behind your chair and we're gonna do a little bit of a balance move. Use your chair as um, you're balancing um, kind of kickstand. So take your left foot and use it as a kickstand next to the other foot. And we're just gonna balance. If you can lift that foot up onto your leg and hold on to that chair and balance on that foot, then that's great. Whatever level you can do. And if you wanna try to show off, do it without the chair and balance like tree pose and yoga. This, this is my bad foot, so I have to really focus on something to be able to, whoo. All right, just hold on to that for a few more seconds and then come down. Now let's do the other side. So even though we're holding on to our chair, we're using that foot that's grounded on the floor to hold us up. So everything that we just moved and stretched, we're using that foot now to hold our balance all by itself. And if you can let go of the chair, even for a second, All right, and then come down. Now we're gonna do what we call our walk of shame. So we're gonna take steps forward, but heel to toe. So heel to toe, maybe three or four steps forward. Pick something maybe on the floor or behind me that's not moving to focus on. And then when you go backwards, don't turn around. Just go backwards, heel to toe. Heel to toe, heel to toe, very carefully. So these are things that'll help us with mobility as we age. Hopefully doing these things regularly will help you if you start to fall because you've worked on your balance and strengthening your feet. And then go back. And then we'll end next to our chair. Everybody be on your right side of your chair. That way when we're moving, we're not gonna bap our neighbor. So use the chair as a balance. We're gonna do a stretch and we're gonna inhale that arm that's on the opposite side from the chair, inhaling and coming up and then just stretching over towards that chair. Get another good side stretch. and then breathing and coming back out of it. Let's do that one more time. So inhaling, stretching towards that chair. Exhaling, coming back. Now switch sides. We've got to be even. So breathe in and stretch towards that chair. There you go. Good job. And then breathing out, coming down. Do that one more time, breathing in and stretching over. And then breathing out and coming back down. Now you can sit back down in your chair. Is everybody warmed up now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. I have to take this off. Finally got warmed up. All right. Do you guys remember our cheerleader moves? Do you remember us doing those before? You remember? Okay, so we're gonna do those today. Let's see how coordinated we are. Let's see how coordinated our brains and our bodies can be. All right, so we'll start with our legs, left foot, and we're just gonna kick left foot, kick right foot. Let's do that nine more times. And eight, and seven, and six, and five and four and three and two and 
one. And now we're gonna tap our toes out to the side. So start with your left foot and we're just gonna tap out, tap out, and then nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one and now we're going to do our arms so we're like we're getting ready to box we have our hands and fists right in front and when we punch we're going to punch with our palm facing the floor, okay? So we're gonna punch out with our left, in, out with our right, in, and then nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna punch up, starting with our left. So we're gonna go left, right, nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. I love having our counters back. Now we're gonna go out to a T, starting with our left hand. So 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. And now is when we're gonna test our brains because we're gonna add it all together. Okay, let's see. How do we wanna do this? Hmm. All right, let's do kick first, tap second, kick third with our feet. And then our arms are punch first, up second, T third. And let's make it a little easier. Let's do the same arm and same foot today. How are we, how are we doing on that? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll start with our left leg. So we're kicking and punching first. So it's this and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one let's keep going we're punching and tapping left right left right and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one keep going punching front and no t sorry t and kicking front that's what i meant to say eight nine eight nine. <laughs> seven and six and this is a test for me, five and four and three and two and one and great job, yay. I think it would have been too much of a challenge to do opposite arms, opposite feet today. So good job. All right, so feet on the floor raise those toes but keep those heels on the floor and spread the toes real wide and we're going to do our hands and feet at the same time so it's kind of like this is jazz hands right fingers really wide we're doing the same thing with our toes 
Heels are on the floor. So just spread really wide. We'll hold these for a few seconds. And now clench really tight, toes and fingers. Clench really tight, a few more seconds. And then spread really wide. And then clench really tight. Let's do it a couple more times. Spread really wide. Clench really tight. Spread really wide. And clench really tight. All right. Let's calm down for just a second. Raise those shoulders up to your ears. And then push them down. Shoulders up to our ears. Push them down. Shoulders up and push them down. Now let's do an inhale like we did at the beginning. So breathing in, arms coming up, but when we come down, turn to your left. So exhaling to your left and put that front hand on your knee and the back hand on the back of the chair. So we're doing just a little bit of a twist here and just hold this for a few seconds, getting a nice gentle twist in our waist. We're looking over towards the wall with the doors. And then when we think about coming out of this, we're gonna breathe in together and bring our arms back above our head. So we're gonna breathe in, arms come up. Breathe out, come to the opposite side. And you know what, I just realized my right shoulder's not hurting as bad. It just hit me. Usually that like turning and lifting at the same time is what bothered it, but. All right, so nice little twist here. And then when we think about coming out of it, we're gonna breathe in, bring those arms up. Exhale, arms down and we stay to the front. Let's shut our shoulders up again. And down. And then up. And then down. Now let's take our hands out to a T and our palms. It's like we're pushing against those walls on either side of us. And let's just do little circles forward. Little circles. And maybe you let them get just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. And now we switch directions. Still big, but going backwards. And then maybe you let them get just a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Now bring your arms to the front and wrap them around your shoulders. Give yourself a great big hug. Ooh. Now reach those hands out to the front and switch which one was on the top and do it again. But we've got a different arm on the top this time. And then let go. Now we're going to work on our abs a little bit. So let's take your left leg, lift it up. You're gonna lean back just a little bit in your chair, but you're not touching the back of your chair. We're holding this leg up and holding our core at the same time. And just that little bit of leaning back helps us engage that core and then put that leg down. Now let's do the other leg. So bring that leg up and lean back just a little bit. We're working that core and then letting that leg back down. Now, little challenge, if you think you can lean back and balance a little bit without your back touching the back of the chair, this is what we call boat pose in yoga. So our core is what's holding us up. We're gonna hold this for a couple more seconds. And then down, nice job. Now let's roll back down like we did at the beginning. Roll over our lap. Let our fingers dangle to the floor. And then rolling back up. Let's do an inhale, exhale again. So bringing our hands up above our head. Exhaling down. 
breathing in, exhaling down, one more time, breathing in, and down. Now let's work on our hands a little bit. So hands are out front. Let's do some little push-ups with our hands. So we're going to point our fingers to the floor. And we're going to come up to the ceiling. Fingers to the floor. Up to the ceiling. Let's do that five more times. So five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Okay, relax those arms, wiggle it out. We're gonna come back up with your left arm, take the opposite hand and just give that forearm a stretch. So we're putting a little bit of pressure on the back of that hand, getting a stretch in the forearm. Now let's do it the opposite way. So we're pulling our fingertips gently back. You'll feel this underneath that forearm. And then let's switch sides. So fingers down, a little bit of pressure on the back hand. And if you can't do it, just do what your body says you can do. Listen to your body. And then fingertips back. Now let's just relax those shoulders, but let's give our wrists some circles. And then switch directions. Make sure we go both ways. Are you flying back there? You're flying, aren't you? All right, let's do our side stretch again, but this time from the chair. So take your right arm and breathe in and just lean just gently. Don't have to go too far to get a good stretch. And then inhale, coming back up, and then opposite side. Nice stretch. And then back up. Let's do that one more time each side. So breathing in. Reach in those fingertips. And out, and then opposite side. Reach in those fingertips. And now scoot all the way back in your chair like we started. And hands can be on your lap, hanging down to your side, palms all up or down. We're gonna do the same thing we did when we started the class. And if it feels okay for you to close your eyes and just come back to a very gentle breath, your natural breath in through the nose. You can breathe out through your mouth if you want to, but not a forced breath here, just natural breathing. Relaxing those shoulders, relaxing the hands and feet. Before you open your eyes, I want to guide you through moving your eyeballs under your eyelids so our eyes are still closed, but pretend you're moving your gaze from the upper left corner of your eyelid, and then you're moving it down to the bottom right hand corner, and then you're looking up to the upper right corner and then under your eyelids, moving that gaze over to the lower left, and then back to the center, and then maybe you make circles with your eyeballs under your eyelids, and then make sure you switch directions, and then just relax your eyes, taking that gaze back straight ahead. Ready. 
body just gently opening up those eyes. Coming back to the bright room. And that's all for today. Thank you all for being here with me. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Until you come here. Hey, that's okay. Um, I feel like this last 